Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Today I have returned with a brand new advanced PvP guide. This time we are focusing on the one and only Scholar. Easy to learn and brings value to every situation. Whether that is shutting down hard to kill roles such as the tanks by lowering their healing done, to shield boosting your entire alliance, or by spreading the highly underrated tick damage into entire groups of enemies. If you are looking to play a class that is strong on control, which can also open up plays for your team, then the Scholar may just be what you are searching for. Thanks for clicking on today's video. Enjoy, and I hope this can inspire you to give Scholar a chance. Let's get into it. Let us begin with a comparison between all of the supporting roles. First up we have the White Mage. To date is still the most popular and the most competitive support role being played. Aside from their decent damage, their Aqua Veil not only shield boosts, it will also nullify the next incoming crowd control. The Miracle of Nature will turn their target into a tiny critter. Combined with their Limit Break that opens with a stun effect, White Mages can not only shut down, they can also secure a fast kill on players who misplay, and is the easiest of the four to learn. Next we have the Astrologian. In my opinion, is the hardest supporting role to learn. They lack single button press crowd control and have no movement abilities. For a support, they can do surprising amounts of damage and specialize in boosting allies through drain cards from their deck. And their ultimate, Celestial River, is amazing. Massively reducing enemy damage output while simultaneously boosting your ally damage output. An experienced Astro can very easily frustrate your opposing team. Your third option is the Sage, which takes a little from each of the other supporting roles. Exceptional damage, including damage over time, shielding and movement. However, their healing is not freely available. Instead, use an ability called Cardia to create a link between yourself and an ally. Through this link, select actions will do healing and apply shielding to that ally making Sage an ideal pick when it comes to buddying up combat. And their Limit Break, Mesotes, is amazing at making enemies waste their burst and their own Limit Breaks. All allies within become immune to all damage, unless the enemy steps inside the ring, at which point they begin receiving high tick damage. And for the star of today's video, we have the Scholar, currently the king of support in Frontline. Your Expedient grants all allies within range damage resistance and a speed boost while also boosting the potency of your poison and your shielding. Amazing to engage, disengage, and to chase after fleeing enemies. The Scholar can not only cast shields on themselves, but also to a targeted ally. These same shields can then be spread to more allies while also increasing damage dealt. The Limit Break brings the missing healing aspect of the role, and in my opinion, the Scholar's highest value comes in their Mummification and Boilersis. Boilersis is damage over time that can then be spread to enemies around that target. In drawn-out fights, not only weakens your enemies, but drains them of valuable MP. And their mummification causes all struck to do 25% less healing via all healing actions. Scholars are the tank killer. Their healing reduction, shields, and poison control shut down even the most annoying Dark Knights diving your team. When it comes to your abilities, your first action is Broil, generous in its casting range. This will be your main go-to spell while waiting on opportunities. If you cast Adloquium upon yourself, you will then deal 8% more damage, allowing you to keep back safe while doing some good damage. Next is your Adloquium. This ability can be cast upon yourself or an ally, a fast 3000 heal. However, you are using this spell for the 6000 barrier and the 8% damage boost. You can hold up to two charges, allowing you to get aggressive or to set up another for success. Using your Limit Break or the Action Expedient will increase the barrier potency by 50% upon the next cast. If you are looking to deal some big damage, use Adloquium upon yourself for the additional 8% damage, followed then by Expedient. Strike your target with Boilersis, 
followed by the deployment tactic. This will allow you to deal huge damage over time, while all struck deal 8% less damage. Broilersis, if you have ever wondered why the Scholar does so much damage in frontline, it is all because of this one spell. For the best use, cast it upon a player surrounded by allies. Following up with deployment tactic, spreads this poison to all nearby enemies. Keep in mind when spreading the poison, the time remaining on the original target is how long the effect will last on those it has been spread to. If Boiler Sis has 5 seconds remaining when you use deployment, everyone else within range will only receive 5 seconds of poison. Boiler Sis does 3000 per tick. If you use Adloquium before casting, that will grant a bonus 8% damage. Once more, if you use Expedient or your Limit Break, this will also boost the damage by 50%. And that's not all. Boiler Sis will also reduce the damage of all struck by 8%. From experience, this ability shuts down large team fights. The damage will slowly eat away into their MP and their health, which combos with diving rolls, such as the Dark Knight, Dragoon, and even the Summoner's Limit Break. Always aim to at least use Expedient beforehand for the additional 50% damage. Next up is the Deployment Tactic, the combo action to both Boiler Sis and Edloquium. When cast on a target afflicted with Boiler Sis, the poison is then spread to nearby enemies. If cast on the player with Adloquium, those shields are spread to nearby allies. A really nice ability for when the battle turns in your favor. Spread shields across your team and poison across your enemies, and then run them down. A nice trick I like to play against the Dark Knights is when they are beelining for your team, getting ready to pull you all together. Preemptively cast Adloquium. Once that Dark Knight uses Salted Earth, pulling you and your team together, hit yourself with Deployment Tactic, spreading shields to all allies around you, taking away the value of the Dark Knight's pileup effect. Mummification. As I said earlier, the Scala is a tank killer, dealing 6,000 damage to all within a cone-shaped area of effect. What makes this skill top tier is the additional, reducing HP recovery of anyone struck by 25% via actions. Hard to kill targets such as tanks, even ninjas are quickly in for a bad time. Tanks, especially the Dark Knight, need to manage their HP well in order to thrive. Scalas exploit that weakness. A Dark Knight dives in, shield your team, follow with mummification, and watch them evaporate. If cast into a group already under the effect of a boosted boiler sis, you will be surprised at just how fast those players drop. Expedient, a skill all players should come to recognize. Once cast, any ally within range receives a 25% speed boost. Damage taken is reduced by 10% and will power up your boiler sis and your adloquium by 50%. Do not blindly waste this ability. Use it for aggressive pushes, or if your team is losing the battle, use it defensively to flee and regroup faster. For the limit break, we have Summon Seraph. To begin, this also grants the 50% boost to both Boiler Sis and Adloquium. How you limit break depends on the situation. It works wonders to both attack and defend. After activation, Seraph will cast Seraph Flight to all allies within range. Players granted this effect will have the next CC effect nullified. And after either 20 seconds or your HP dropping below 50%, that player shall receive an instant 8,000 heal. After being summoned, Seraph will also cast Seraphic Veil for an instant 4,000 heal, including a 4,000 potency barrier. While summoned at any given moment, you can activate Consolation. This orders Seraph to restore the HP of all within range, granting a fast 4,000 heal and a bonus 4,000 barrier. Outside of one-shot ability limit breaks, Seraph is wonderful at keeping a fight going through limit break spam. Do not get overconfident, however, as enough incoming damage at once will still drop you. One of the ways I have greatly improved the Scholar is through the macro system, allowing me to spend less time target switching and more time focusing. For my first two macros, I have set both Adloquium and Deployment Tactic to focus target. If you're playing with a friend in frontline, simply set them as your focus. Then this macro will remove the need to manually target them. It is also a really nice addition to Crystalline Conflict. Simply focus a diving role, a tank, or perhaps a player who likes to keep distance. These simple macros will allow you to remain focused during battle fast shielding that one specific player, including spreading shields to those around that player. For my third macro, I have created a handy little trick for mummification. Oftentimes you'll be casting from range, targeting a player in the back. Should someone dive you, activating this macro will instantly cast mummification on the closest player, as this will remove the messy target cycling when many players are in view. 
For my final macro, I eliminate the need to manually place your limit break. In the heat of battle, it can be crucial to use that limit break, but manual placement comes with a risk. A risk of not placing it down in time and crowd control. Activating this macro instantly summons Seraph at your own location. The Scholar comes with many strengths, the best of which comes within their subtlety. Many players won't even notice you buffing your team and even weakening theirs. Thanks to your poison, you will always be eating into their MP, lowering the chance of long drawn-out fights. As a Scholar, you excel with well-coordinated groups better than the other supports. Good use of shields and limit break will cause the enemy team to waste their burst windows and limit breaks. To begin, you have no crowd control to speak of, and zero movement abilities. This means you need to play well with the team, and position well. Natural cover is your friend. Your damage while strong lacks in burst potential. You're looking to keep your poison up, position well, and broil any time in between. Being caught out alone is a fast death sentence, as you will be forced to burn through your shielding in an effort to survive. And there we have it. Everything one needs to know when picking up the Scholar in PvP. Extremely fun and highly underrated. Want to see the Scholar in action? Then stay tuned, as next is a 4 million damage round on the Fields of Glory. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you all in the next one.